Let's go over how to create an invoice in QuickBooks Online. We'll also review all the customization options you have to tailor the invoice to your business and show you how to let your customers pay your invoice online. Finally, we'll show you where you can review the status of your invoice once you send it. To start, select New and Invoice. You'll see your contact info up here. If you need to make any changes, select Edit Company. You can also change your logo if you want to. Next, fill in who you're sending the invoice to. Select Add New if you need to add a new customer. If you've already added your customer in QuickBooks, select them. QuickBooks fills in their info automatically. You can change the fields your customer sees in this section by going to Manage. If you don't see this menu open already, then select Customization. You can turn on or off the options as per the fields as required on your invoice. Select Product or Service field and enter what you're charging your customer for. If you don't find a product or service that looks right, select Add New to create a new one. You can change any of the info you see here. Add as many products and services as you want. Next, you'll find the options you'll offer your customer to pay you. To change these, select Payment Options and turn on or off any of these options. Note that you'll need to connect to your bank account in order to view online payment options. You can add fields for a shipping fee or a discount by turning these fields on. Then add those amounts to your invoice. If you've set up GST in QuickBooks and this invoice includes taxable products, then you'll see your GST here. You can write a note or add an attachment for your customer in these fields. Adjust the look of your invoice by going to Design and updating the colour and font of your invoice to something that suits your company's design. Note that if you've created templates using our previous invoicing experience, you can select those here, but some functions will not be available when using these. If this is a sale that repeats over time on a schedule, you have some options. If you mark an invoice as a recurring invoice, QuickBooks will create and send the invoice to your customer over and over on a schedule you set. If the customer prefers to pay each invoice individually though, you'll need to wait for your customer to pay each one before you receive their payment. If you want to print or send the invoice later, you can turn on these options. You can also set up automatic invoice reminders here if you want to prompt your customer to pay if the invoice is due or almost due. Once everything looks just right, you can email your invoice to your customer or share a link to the invoice. Let's email this invoice. Review the info and when you're ready, select Send Invoice. QuickBooks confirms that the email was sent to your customer. You can review the status of your invoice by going to Sales and then Invoices. Select an invoice for details on its status. This menu also has some handy options like creating a duplicate, voiding or deleting an invoice and more. If you want to view an audit history or transaction journal for the invoice, select Edit Invoice and you'll see those actions under More Actions. Now you are ready to create and send invoices in QuickBooks Online.